Well, hello, it's me, Mr. Sasaki, and today we're doing Handle Beret from Suzuki Violin Book Number Two Tutorial and Playthrough. If you want the playthrough, use the chapters to below and skip ahead. Tutorial. This song near and dear to my heart because it's the first song I ever played in recital at the age of 14. Yep. So um, it plays by itself pretty much, but there are some difficulties. So let's talk about those. Line three. We have some exposed fourth fingers. Pay attention to those. So use this opportunity, obviously, to play in tune, but to strengthen that fourth finger, and why not use some vibrato on those? Next, measures 13, 14, and 16. We have up bows at the end of each of those measures, so two up bows at the end of each measure. Here we are. Okay, 13, 14, 16. Two up bows at the end of each of those. The last two things I want to talk about are going to be more musical things. So we have two kinds of dynamics. We have terrace dynamics, forte, piano, mezzo forte. So they're like sharp edges that we just change all on, a, on a dime. The other kind that we have in this song is contour dynamics. And so what we do is when the melody raises and gets higher in pitch, we generally get louder. And as the pitches get lower, they descend, we get softer. So it's kind of an easy way to be musical, right? So they're trying to teach us that. I'll play the first line to show you what it, what's going on. getting softer. So just follow the general shape of the melody and you'll be doing dynamics and you'll sound musical too. All right, the other thing is that I've seen many students fail, woof, including myself at times uh, in the old days, is the ending of the first two lines and the last two lines. So they both start the same, our theme. first part ends this way. And then the second section ends this way. Don't get confused as to which one you're on, okay? So make sure you practice them, go through it, practice it with the repeats because it'll catch you if you're trying to just kind of memorize it and are letting your mind drift. Okay, so be careful with that. I've seen students get stuck in a vortex of repeats and never ending this song. Ooh. All right, let's do the playthrough. They don't have a tempo marking, oddly enough, in the violin book, so we're just going to kind of guess that it's going to be bum, ba, dum, ba, da, 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 something medium speed, a beret, dum, bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Bamba is a famous one from book three, right? So let's just try this. One, two,
How'd you do? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this piece as much as I do? If you found value in this, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next piece. Thanks so much. Bye.